welcome back. This is Ballas Google with an episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger when we last left off. I I was here. But but if you climb down the chain, you can go back into the get to the previous safe point and get a heal, which I would highly recommend after a boss fight. I'm joined as always by Vash, Lamia, and Bloom. We are ready to take on Mount Well. We will take on this enemy right here. This is some kind of stone enemy. This is rubble, apparently, and he prevents us from ever using text or items right off the bat. So all we can do is attack. He did use that on everybody, and he is hard as hell to hit. Luckily, we did get one critical in there, and I know yeah, th this is a special enemy, so I, I know like, tons about him. Uh, he gives a ton of experience and especially a ton of tech points if you can kill him. He tends to run away a lot. Don't let him get his turn. And I believe it's going to take me three hits to kill him. So I'm really hoping that I can get this in time. There we go. Third hit. Down he goes. And for that we get a thousand experience points, which is pretty good. Pretty good. But we get a hundred tech points, which is incredible. And a mid-ether, just for good measure. A, a hundred tech points. Still not enough for anybody to learn anything new, but still. A hundred tech points is a hundred tech points. And then we find uh, new imp aces. Wh what are you guys called? Bantam imps, of course. Because they're bantam skydivers. I, I don't... I, well, I know what bantam means. But still, it's used in a context I am not fully appreciative of. That should be enough. Oh. Okay, so apparently after they fall off. Oh, freaking Crimson Rain. That did a lot of damage, too. And when they're on the ground, they are stone imps, and they like to kick stones at people. Damn you, die. Down goes the stone imp. Let's go ahead and take on this other Bantam Imp. Uh, not enough. There we go. Just knock it right out of the air with the back end of your bow. Is that going to be enough to finish him off? It isn't. Stop kicking stones all the way across. Damn it. Hit Bloom right in the face. You'd think that being metal would kind of make that, whatever, not like effective or whatever. You get 696 experience, 24 attack points, and 1,700 gold. That was, that was a lot of gold, but not nearly as much tech points, so I'd, I'd rather take on the rubble, which we find right here. Don't run away from me. And as a result of that battle, uh, because it did not run from me, which I am greatly appreciative of, I don't know why the wind took so long to pick up there, Lamy was able to learn her next tech, which was Ice 2, if you remember correctly, and she's on her way to learning Cure 2, but that might take a while. Unless we fight some more rubble. Bloom still still needs to learn Uzi Punch. Still on his way. It's getting closer, getting closer though. But those uh those rubbles, those are great for, for level grinding if if you can do it. Let's go down here. Grab ourselves a load helm. Nice. I will take it. Actually, I do need to equip that. That is that is an upgrade now that I think about it. Uh let's see. Who here has the lowest? Oh, you have the lowest defense by far. Let's get you on the load helm. What are you using? The ribbon? What does that do again? Ribbon. Strike plus two. Uh, she can equip the, the black rock, but once again, I don't have the proper setup for that. No. no. Yes, actually. We're gonna we're gonna need the silver stud because she's going to be my healer, and I don't like using aura if I can use gear for the same amount. But we need to head back the way that we came because there's nowhere for us to go left that way. So we need to head over to the the west here and north to fight more bantam. And with that out of the way, we are free to move on and up the chain once again. Why are there so many chains? This doesn't seem efficient at all. Now, if two ways to go, I choose this way because it has an enemy that I really do want to kill. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to kill it because it ran away. Freaking rubble. Stole 
100 tech points from me. And we have new enemies. These are upgrade Diabolos's. These are gargoyles. Are they tough enemies? No, because they died in one shot. Even, even from Bloom, which was only five less damage anyway. 432 experience, 12 tech points, and we can move on. That was very easy. What do you think? It looked like that was like a secret passage. We already have a save point, really. I doesn't feel like I'm ready for a save point at all. Is there anything over here? Yeah, I'll go up here first. Oh, I see, I see treasure chest up here. I want to get it. Is there anything else? This is a long way for me to be able to run without taking a without taking any fights. Finally, there is another fight with more bantam imps, and this treasure chest here oh, holds a, a lapis. Did I ever go with a lapis dude? I'm pretty sure I did. Because that's definitely not the first time that we've gotten it. Uh, let's go back over here then. And we can get this treasure chest after this fight. With that fight done, we can grab ourselves. Oh, yes, open it. A barrier out of that treasure chest. Nothing more down there. So let's head over to the east here. I saw this chain. Oh. Like, right before I got there. Right before I got there. The gargoyles do have an attack. Uh, it's like a hurricane kick that they use. Oh, nice. Is that uh, reduces your HP down to one, so you do want to keep out an eye out for that. Got a load vest and a shield. Shield, I assume, is some kind of item, because nobody uses a shield in this game. But let's take a look at the load vest. Uh, is it going to be better than the Lumen Robe? It is. The Lumen Magic Defense plus 5. But this is up by 8. And I think they need the defense right now. What does this do again? Nothing. No, I'm good. Yeah, that's, that's good. I'm going to keep it like that. So that's something you want to keep an eye on, making sure that you heal yourself if, if he uses the little hurricane kick of death. Let's take on this rubble. And because I was able to defeat that rubble, which I'm always happy to do if they do not run away from me, I was able to learn a couple new texts. Texts. So you stay in texts, apparently. Uh, Vash did learn Confuse, which attacks enemy with Confuse four times. Uh, I'll try to show that eventually. And he's on his way to lear learning Luminaire. He needs uh, at least 800 more. Uh, but he also learned a new dual tech with Lamia. He learned Ice Sword 2. A tight Ask sword attack multiple, so I assume that uses the confuse. Yeah, it uses the, the 12 MP, so that's the confuse attack, so apparently it's some kind of sword attack. Uh, still, still not there. So close. So close. But we are able to move back the way that we went. Yeah, this, this, this one kind of doubles on itself quite a bit. Yeah, I need to go around this way. And then I can head back up and over further to the east. This is kind of like another maze type uh, dungeon, I guess you could say. Is it really a dungeon? All right, we got stone imps and gargoyles. Moving on, we are ready to go this way-ish. No, this way-ish. And we found another chain, and therefore we must have another fight. Is there anything up here? There is not, so we will continue going south. And here, oh, there's a treasure chest, and therefore another fight. Now let's go over and grab that treasure chest. I saw, open, and get a barrier out of there. And, oh, you can't hide from me, Rubble. You think you can hide, but you cannot hide. I will defeat you unless you run by, I guess, jumping off the side. Luckily, the Rubble did not commit suicide and jump over the side, and I was able to kill it. So, as a result, Bloom was able to learn Uzi Punch, and apparently no dual text with that. That kind of makes me a little upset. Uh, but he's on his way to learning Area Bomb, damage enemy with Melt Beam. That does not sound fun. Melt Beam. I have no idea what that is, but I assume it melts and it comes in the form of a beam. So let us head over, and you know, the only way left to go, which is over here. What the hell is that? Another lapis. I remember you guys, kind of. There's so many of you. Can I just 
think I'm like just you right now. No, I can't do anything. If I go, which way do you want me to go? There, apparently they want me to stand there so I can take on these new enemies. We have man eaters. I don't like the looks of that at all. And they cast blizzard. Ah, oh, crap. Go lightning too. And of course they heal each other. And apparently Blizzard and, and Inflicting Chaos restarts Limea's turn. You guys can keep casting it on her all day. Go Lightning too, which made the fog disappear. Because that's how good Lightning is. Not enough to, to for the victory? Okay. Laser Spin! That also affects everybody, which I am very happy about. Hopefully this is going to be enough to take them all out. No. Yes! Yes it is. Nice. As we get uh, over a thousand experience and 24 tech points. 3,000 gold. Nice. I will take it. And this looks like it leads further on, so I'm going to go across this one first. And down here we can find more gargoyles. And this gives us free reign to open up this and get a full ether. And there's another one up here. I figured there might be for another barrier. All right, I think we're ready to move on now. The man eaters did not come back. I... Ugh, don't like the man eaters, but they're over there. Eventually, I'll have to fight them. I can seize it, but I also seize you, rubble. I'm getting very lucky with this rubble, and I was able to to, to kill that one as well. And as a result of that one, this is how you just rack up text. Uh, Lemmy was able to learn cure two heal ally full. It, it's because technically it's her third cure, and that of course would take you know six or seven. MP because I do have half on her. No, five or six. And she's on her way to learning life two, even though she never learned life one. But yeah, look at that. Revive and restore all HP. It'll cost uh, 15 or 16 usually for that one. But she's also learned Cure Touch, which restores all allies HP to full. And because I do have the uh, MP half on her. It, it doesn't cost very much H or MP at all to cure all my HP. Why I'm getting those two confused all the damn time is beyond me. Nothing down there. Alright. I will take you guys on in order to get those two treasure chests. Ah, damn it. So let's go down here and open up those treasure chests they were guarding. We got a shield and a shelter. Shelter is worth it. Shield probably isn't. So let's move on. Did I ever show off the shield? I don't think I did. I have a feeling that I talked about it, but, but did not show it. Where is that shield? It's probably way down here at the bottom. There it is. Shield. Cuts physical hits by a third. I mean, it's not that great at all. A third. It's pretty much protect. Those of you that do uh, Final Fantasy games. That, that's what that is. And more gargoyles. With them out of the way, we are free to move on and... Oh! Oh, 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 I almost missed you. I will use this save point. 